Yeah. Welcome back, everyone, to Man Eater. I'm your buddy Shadefire, and this is episode two. So, our little baby bull shark has been dropped here into the bayou, which they are capable of surviving thanks to Osmo regulation, the ability to control the salinity level of their bloodstream. So, obviously we're not going to be able to survive out in the big old ocean, so we're going to need to find some nutrients. And I guess that means going to Fatwick Bayou Grotto. I like the way this looks. I like the, you know, the kind of bayou lighting. Jaws Unleashed did have kind of coastal swampy areas, but it didn't really do anything in them. We need to be an elder before we can leave. So, let's see. It's like a jungle out there. So I'm guessing we should be able to circle around. I gotta stop slipping it in and out of the attempted Cajun accent. From time to time it's okay, but don't want to do a whole episode like that. We have removed that turtle and gained some yellow and some blue. Which I, I guess is like fat plus crystals. Oh, catfish. I guess we do get resources for pretty much everything we kill. Oh, see, I threw it. Oh, hey, look, my HUD didn't disappear this time when I opened the photo mode. I don't actually know what caused that last time. It might not have been the photo mode at all. Biting off more than we can chew, except the shark can actually just chew anything. Anything will fit into its mouth. Don't you know? Uh, let's see. Camera. I wanted to see if I could do a little depth of field, just because that kind of looks better. Yeah, I kind of like that. You know, just a little bit to kind of draw focus to the shark. Also, I think the HUD is not going to disappear when I want it to. But at least we know if we get that bug again, I can just, you know open up the main menu and then load back in. Alright, where is this mission? I keep going around. There's a cave around here somewhere. This just wall of mangrove roots. I do actually like how populated the ocean is here, though. Or the swamp, in this case. It's not like very sporadic life kind of like Jaws Unleashed because obviously the technology is better and they can do more fish at Depending once. Depending on its mood, a shark can be slow and cunning or quick and terrifying. What the hell is this? Probably something that's going to mutate us. Deep end research. Alright. Let's head into this very brightly lit cavern. Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. Well, I really like how this looks, even though I'm not clear why <laughs> there's so much bioluminescence going on. We look so young and untested, despite our big scar. Look at those big wide eyes. How can you be mad at this thing, even when it's, you know, destroying your face? It's just a little cutie. Time to evolve, because this is how evolution works. Okay, we can evolve an organ. Advanced sonar requires 2,000 stringy red thing. Oh, that's to upgrade it, not to equip it. Nutrients are resources gained by eating wildlife, humans, destroying boats. How do you get nutrients from destroying boats? Just eat the fucking wood? And completing quests. Nutrients increase your level and upgrade your evolutions. So yeah, that tooltip said no matter which ones we're getting, we're getting experience, but we need specific ones for specific upgrades. 
evolutions or mutations that grant you amazing powers such as bone armor, poison glands, or bioelectric organs. You know, like a shark do. Depth kind of had that, but again, as a multiplayer game, you were kind of limited on how far you could go. Infamy ranks, completing landmark quests, and killing apex predators. So to equip evolutions, return to the grotto and press I. I guess that means we can't just do that anytime. So we got our advanced sonar. Our mass is only one. We are a small. Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. I mean, this looks like a kind of area that would lead to us mutating into something horrible. And I assume that's kind of why we're going to get electric powers, is because they're messing around with something down here. Is there actually anything? Like, is this here for a reason? <laughs> is there anyone in there? Alright, well, I guess we got whatever we needed in here. The ability to mutate. Uh, I hit K instead of L. Infamy rank. So it looks like these are shark hunters that we're going to hunt down ourselves at some point. Female catfish can spawn up to 100,000 eggs. Males can fertilize up to 9 spawns per season, and that's how overpopulation happens. Kill the catfish! Okay, we'll track that quest. We also got to kill some musky, which I haven't spotted yet. The overhunting of Fawtick's keystone predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. Rosie the Alligator sounds like someone we're going to have to challenge for supremacy. Am I supposed to just, like, hop up there and grab that? Eh, I'm too small. Okay, you just have to Contrary bite it. But legend, the bull shark cannot live out of water for hours at a time. So we got our first collectible, which are considerably larger than the Jaws Unleashed ones, which I didn't bother collecting because you didn't get anything for it. All right, here's our prey of choice. And there's Rosie the alligator. Wildlife can be hostile. Evade to dodge their attacks. When you see them glow, they are vulnerable. Attack while they're vulnerable to stun them. If you are the same size or larger than combative wildlife, when they are vulnerable, you can thrash them to maintain control. Because that's where the wiggling comes in. Focus threat. Oh, there is more than one alligator. So I don't think we can actually lock on, per se. Just waiting for him to strike so I can... Well, this is the kind of meat I need to upgrade my sonar. Are you gonna actually... <laughs> Honestly, I found that shark a little one note to build a whole season around. So I was focusing on one, but then the other one made its move. Fawtick Bayou has long been a favorite go-to spot for catfish. Here's the musky. I guess wants to fight back. Oh, this one's level 5. Um, <laughs> I just launched it into the air. Okay, we'll eat the less big one. This one is actually bigger than we are currently.
Problem is, after a dodge, you can't really swim away. Or musky is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here. At least they address that it's probably not going to make sense, some of these things we see. Alright, so that gets us catfish again. I mean, I can hold F and it'll focus the camera to them, but it doesn't stay focused on. I don't really know how this combat works yet. for our catfish. And I guess we're gonna have to learn how to fight those alligators. Can I just swim right through this? Yeah, it's just a walkway. So I guess at this point we don't even have a main mission. We're just doing side missions until we're big enough. I suppose I can detect other side missions with that. What were those things that were leaping out of the water? I didn't actually get a good look at them. This one's unexpecting us. So let's annoy it. <laughs> Really? Double teamed by an alligator and a muskie? I'll take out the little shit first. Alright, these alligators hurt. Okay, you need to click and thrash to actually kill them. Thrashing doesn't kill them on its own, it just keeps them in your mouth. Are you gonna take a swing at me? Ooh, the tail swipe hurts. Hey, okay, uh, where are we going with the rest of the season? So the show is not necessarily about the hunter, but also the shark. Biological adaptation allows the bull to survive in fresh water. Hey, I already addressed that. I mean, we could just kill the catfish and dodge the alligators for now. <laughs> oh, but these ones don't count. They're not <laughs> in danger territory, so they're not worth anything. I mean, we're almost level two, so there is that. Where is our mission? Oh, apparently I went the complete wrong way. Are you gonna track me? Really? No, okay. Let's see another license plate. I think we can snag that as we go. We're too small to go over there and terrorize the people, though. Also, I think we're too small to jump that high. Someday. Alright, let's not fuck around with the alligators if we don't have to.
They seem very keen to fuck with me, though. Almost as though they don't want the easy prey. Which is very unalligator like honestly. <laughs> They're kind of lazy. There's no way I'm going to be able to fight both of them. I can't even fight one. At least I can survive one good bite from them. And then get my health back from the catfish. Persistent. Alright, we're a pup still, but we're a slightly larger pup. Rolled by a gator. The overhunting of Fawtix Keystone predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. I'm not sure why that played again after we finished the mission. All right. So now, what do we do? There's a license plate there. I feel like we need to master this battle the alligator thing. Okay, I gotta stay out of the shallow water because it's disorienting. So when you see that flash is when they're vulnerable. Ow. Alright, I don't know where it just went. <laughs> I think we just fired it into the sky and now it's gone. I mean, hey, that's one way to get rid of an alligator. I seriously don't know why my cursor disappears during this, though. I think that is from the, uh... From the pulling up that. Okay, let's grab one of these nutrient caches. Apparently there's one around the corner. We go straight into the right. Kind of weird that it just tells you where they are. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. And it looks like on the top left we're building up towards a meter of fighting the shark hunter for this area. Oh my god, not being able to click things is really annoying. <laughs> okay, so that's the grotto, which is, you know, our boss area, or our base area. Alligator's prowling around. Can I just, you know, no, you can only track one mission at a time. All right, let's go after the alligator. I think I'm big enough now. So I can see how this is the part that would have got the game to not be reviewed great, because you literally just have to fuck around in the open world before you can do the actual missions. Which, anytime they really force you to do that stuff, it just feels tedious. You know, like your your Far Cry's, you can usually just go to the next mission if you want. The game doesn't say, no, you have to blow up a hundred things before you can go to the next mission. <laughs> Unlike Just Cause. Of course, it has it can't just be an alligator, it has to be a level 15 alligator. I still don't think we're equal in size to this alligator, but... <laughs> Oh, 
I think we can take him. Alright, well that part I can't deal with. I don't have a good counter to the tail whip. I need some prey. For some reason, they're all over here. Alright, back to full health. Ugh. The alligators, they just kind of, like, wait sometimes, which makes it really hard to dodge. <laughs> yep. 400 million years of evolution, and yet the shark is eaten by someone's future luggage. All right, so maybe we don't fight the alligator that's level 15 yet. The Cajuns that fish and trap here don't use depth finders or GPSs. They know this bayou by heart. Nah, Cajun don't need no fancy tools. We bow into the bayou. All right, we've got an undiscovered here that I just marked. Which is... this way. What's this landmark? This is the big plug! This is what keeps the bayou intact. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home, and let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. All right. No explanation of why that's actually there. Okay, so where are we going? What other missions we got? Alligator. We got another musky. And another musky. just kind of guess where my cursor is. Though I can click and when I drag the map, the mouse actually appears. So yeah, we got two alligator hunts and two musky hunts. So I guess we'll hunt the musky until we're strong enough to kill the alligators. I feel like I already need a health upgrade. This way. So yeah, I think this is gonna be a weak point for this game the entire way through. Is where it's like, oh, just do a bunch of side missions until you're big enough to do the real mission. It's just a a jetty for swimming. It's a bigger catfish, which is why I went for it. We got another alligator. I mean, this is just a regular alligator, and again... I need to master how to battle these. If we're gonna be the lord of the swamp. I can't even tail whip right now. I guess we haven't evolved that ability yet. Damn it, we are gonna kill at least one alligator in this episode. It doesn't help that they get flung around when they fight you. There we 
go. Oh, I gotta eat his chunks. He's so big that he <laughs> explodes into chunks. You mess with a bowl, you get your teeth. But we're not gonna fight every alligator. Because that does take kind of a while to kill each one. I feel like I need a mini map, because otherwise I'm gonna keep opening the map every time I wanna find one of these little things. I actually think that's how we were supposed to get in here. <laughs> From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. Apparently those nutrients are just MREs that someone dumped into the water. Alright, so our mission is this way. I definitely can't wait until we can evolve speed because we really don't go that quick. All right, there's our hunted muscalunge. I'm here to hunt you. Some of them it seems like you have to attack right before they start their attack. Visit Grotto. Okay, so I think we unlocked our new upgrades. Something behind us. Another location, I assume. Whatever it is, it's over here. Oh. <laughs> a clock would hardly be the strangest thing ever retrieved from a crocodile's mouth. Somebody really loved Hook. They made this giant gator statue. I can't swim through it. I guess we can just fast travel back to the grotto. We don't actually have to swim there. The shark is now a team, and we should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision making. New ability tail whip, as well as some breach, air lunge, and lung capacity. I suppose lung capacity for us means how long we can stay on land. Let's see, we have enough meat to upgrade this. 100% radius, 20% cooldown. Not very exciting, but we'll get it. We don't really have much else we can do right now. Alright. So... Let's see, it wants me to get to this zone, which means I have to go through this zone. So I guess that's our main mission? Alright, well, let's go try to fight a crocodile on the way, or alligator rather. Wonder if we have enough up to get there now. Nope, not quite.
This is still pretty much my maximum speed, so we're not that much faster. Groupers are capable of absorbing extreme amounts of water in their attempts to suck up prey. But yeah, I'm gonna have to keep opening the map to find these collectibles. What is... I guess that's just the mission for finding them all in this area. And they only pop up when you get close. I really not get any of these yet. Maybe if I go real deep. Nope. <laughs> my jumping is not so good, and I can't triple jump yet. I didn't learn that from my mama on account of she died immediately before I was even born. Well, now we can tail whip, but I don't think it's going <laughs> to help us that much here. Because alligator's got a bigger tail than our whole body. I hate that little fast attack, because I don't think we can dodge it. my panic attempts to get health. Alright. Son of a bitch. I just have to be judicious in my use of the dodge. It's not like it uses up stamina or anything. We don't really have stamina. The hell is everything? <laughs> I need prey. What I don't need is another jackass alligator harassing me. Like that one. I mean, the main one stopped following me. Thankfully, it didn't get its health back. shit. Uh, so this is kind of tedious part because we have to basically swim away every time we get hit <laughs> to get health back. But these alligators are kind of territorial so they don't seem to follow us too far. Now, you didn't think we were done yet, did you? I don't know how I avoided that. Of course, later on in the game, I assume we won't have so much trouble because we'll be Alligator comes higher up on the food chain. Which means the lizard. Which really isn't that interesting. All right. The Fawtick Bayou area has lost 63 acres of marshland due to saltwater intrusion. 
Maybe we just have to come back. Maybe we're not ready yet. So if we want to escape this area without having to fight an alligator, we're going to have to go past it anyway. But I don't know if they intend just kind of we're going to revisit these areas once we get stronger. Or if they're like, no, do all of the side missions now. But let's try to get to a new area so that at least we can see something different for the next episode. The shark's black alien eye is firmly fixed on her prey. Only one eye, though. She also has a completely normal non-alien eye that is not like a doll's eyes. Alright, so we swing around right here. Ignore that alligator. And hang a left. I will say that aside from the weakness of our actual abilities, this game does control pretty well. Again, definitely better than Jaws Unleashed. Though it helps that I have the sensitivity turned down as well. Alright, so... I mean, unless we have to jump right there between the two, this has to be the way to get there. I really don't think we can get over this. Each gate has a switch. Well, there's a switch up there. What can I grab that is big enough to throw? Ah, uh, that did not work at all. Caviar Key features painted sails, a luxury five-star resort built over the remains of Tunamacha, a pre-Columbian city that was once host to the most advanced civilization in ancient America. Hmm, it's like a barrel or something I can use? I can't believe I'm asking to throw a barrel, but that's where we're at. Somehow I don't think turtle projectiles are going to be enough here, though. Yeah, I don't think I can aim that high. So, guess we're not going that way. Just yet. I mean, yeah, the alternative, the only other way out is to go over that. If that's even possible. It looks like a pretty big stretch, but we might be able to drag our fat sharky ass across. Or not, because there's a big ass wall there. And a nuclear power plant that appears to be leaking. No, well, unless we go through here. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. Barracuda. Unfortunately, Barracuda do like to hunt in packs. Unlike the cautious shark, the Barracuda is often quick to attack. I 
can't believe we don't have lock on though. Because it makes the combat really awkward after you're trying to get hit in when they're stunned. The young bull shark, after a fresh kill, exploding into meat chunks. Seriously, why does that even happen? Uh-oh. That got rid of my HUD. Oh, man-eater. You're going to be a mess of an LP. I can feel it now. Vegetation salinity zones in this area include fresh marsh, intermediate marsh, brackish marsh, and saline marsh. The resilient bull shark is able to navigate all of them with ease. Okay, so, because I didn't actually get to the grotto, we didn't actually get a checkpoint. And that means we're just gonna end it here, and next time we'll head into Dead Horse and find that new save point, and then check out the missions there. But hopefully we'll get some actual, like, proper missions that are not just kill 10 catfish next time. But until then, I've been Shadefire here in the bayou, and I hope you'll come fishy with me again next time, since we didn't really do a lot of man-eating in this episode. Take care, y'all.